one of the reasons I got my trust so broken in the past is I wanted to believe the best about other people so much so that I ignored red flags. I would feel like something wasn't right, but I would override my own discernment because either I wanted to keep the peace or I just wanted that person to be who I thought that they were. It's important though for us to acknowledge that red flags are actually there to protect us. When you're having a conversation with someone and you get that gentle like, huh? Or that little nudge that something's not quite right. It's important to pay attention to that and ask yourself some questions like, what is this feeling that I'm having? Where is this coming from? We need to pay attention to like, is this a, a sign that that this person is having an integrity issue or are they being irresponsible? Either way, you're feeling like you can't trust that person. I think I would recommend to pay attention to that feeling and then recognize red flags don't typically get better on their own. It's important to seek clarity. One of the most telling things is when you want to discuss a red flag with someone, watch how they react. That will probably tell you more than anything else. If they react with empathy and understanding and a desire to answer your questions, that's a great sign. If, however, you sense a red flag, you mention it to someone or you start asking questions to try to ease that weird feeling that you're getting and they get super defensive, they get argumentative, they tell you or try to make you feel like you're crazy or anything like that, chances are that red flag is absolutely something that you should be concerned about.